Brooks, when I first met you, I instantly knew there was something between us. You and I are completely different, yet I'm so magnetically drawn to you. When we were in high school, I made this booklet for you for our first Valentine's Day together, telling you all of the reasons I like you. I have always been and always will be in love with you. Brooks Dean Becker. For the same reasons you stole my heart 15 years ago, here are some of my favorites. You know how to have fun and live. Not a day goes by that you aren't dreaming up some fearless wild adventure. I love how we have grown together over the years, and I am so proud of the man you've grown up to be. I know you were hardworking when you took out a loan to start your own business when we first started dating in high school. I've watched you work night shifts in negative degree weather while putting yourself through college. And you waited to propose to me until you became the man you wanted to be first. The man who could provide for his wife and future family. I love how we push each other out of our comfort zones. You're hilarious without even trying. I never stop laughing around you. I always have fun with you no matter what we do. You're ambitious. I totally and completely trust you. I love you for all the ways you challenge me to look at things differently. To my love, Liz, it is exciting. Our wedding day is here. This is the day we have looked forward to for so long. I am filled with joy, excitement, nervous, and even a little scared. It's amazing to look back over the last couple of years and see the amount of life events we have shared together. This day is another one of those moments we will look back on for the rest of our lives. Today I look forward to seeing your beautiful smile as you walk down the aisle. Your joy lights up a room. It's one of the many things I love about you. You're the most caring person I know and you inspire me to be a better man. I know that because of you, I will be the best husband I can be and someday the best father I can be. I love you, and I can't wait to walk through life with you by my side. Your future husband, Brooks. That's sweet. Babe. I love you so much. I love you too. You want to get married today? I do. Cool. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Lucky guy. I love you so much. I'm the luckiest girl. Proud to be the wife of such a hardworking, family focused, loving, and godly man. And I'm excited to see us grow and evolve into different roles alongside one another. I love you for the man you are and the husband and eventually great father you will be. I cannot wait to meet you at the altar today. Brooks Dean Becker, I love you so much. All my love forever, Elizabeth Ann Taylor. How truly blessed we are to be able to gather together finally for this wedding feast of Brooks and Elizabeth. You know, it's said that uh, good things come to those who wait. I guess in your case, great things come to those who wait even longer, but it is truly a great joy and a blessing to gather with all of you, the family and friends of Brooks and Elizabeth. I, Brooks, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in the good times and the bad, through sickness and health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Elizabeth, take you, Brooks, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you, in good times and in bad, 
in sickness and in health, to love and honor you all the days of my life. Let me introduce to you Mr. Brooks and Mrs. Elizabeth Becker. tell you guys some history of this love affair. Uh, this has been going on for a long time. Uh, this started back in April 7th, 2006. But a sixth grade Liz asked a spiky haired, really cute kid to dance at a sixth grade Catholic school function. Liz, according to her diary that night, it was love at first sight. <laughs> That dance was 15 years ago. And these kids are only 27 years old. So that's incredible. They've been together a long time. So Brooks, you know, you must have had some pretty impressive dance moves that night. <laughs> and I can't wait to see them, see them out here in just a little bit. A couple years ago, I think it was like 2016, she came to visit and she started talking about Brooks. And I could just tell when she was talking that there was like something special. And, but then I met him in Minnesota with like, I knew how great of a guy he was, like just genuine. I could see how special their relationship was. Liz, your adventurous spirit, kind heart, and generous soul make you an amazing woman and absolutely perfect for Brooks. And the two of you are a true team. Liz and Brooks have been in each other's lives for quite some time. And throughout the years, you've moved states together, vacationed together, and ultimately grown together. These two are a match made in heaven, truly embody partnership, and I cannot be happier for the both of you. Brooks is her best friend. He's her protector. And we felt this comfort even during their high school years. They're the perfect couple. I think they're always meant to be together. But I can tell you that my most uh, favorite qualities of Brooks is that he has total devotion to my daughter. And he's able to make her laugh and smile very easily. Now it's my pleasure to announce the new Mr. and Mrs. Brooks Becker. for the future you guys have ahead of you. So, if you'll all raise your glasses with me, I'd like to propose a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Becker. Cheers. There's something in your touch, baby The way that your body is moving me And I don't know where this all will go Oh no 